Hello there, fellow Smart Alex. My name is Bud, your host, and welcome back to another awesome episode of the Genius Cast, the smartest show on the internet, or smartest podcast. It's not a show. Our guest this week is Zapu. How are you doing, sir? Hello. I'm good. I'm good, thank you. So, l- thank you again for tuning in to the Genius Cast. Last episode was with Nathalie Detective, and that was an awesome episode. If you would like to see that, please click the link in the description for uh, the previous episode and all the episodes that I've uploaded so far. This is episode 8. Can't believe I've been doing eight weeks of this already. So, you ready to begin? I am very ready. All right, so why don't we jump right into our first question, which was B, who is your favorite YouTuber? Uh, do I have to say you? <laughs> no, it can't um, be me. I'm, I'm disqualified <laughs> out of that. Um, probably Markiplier now, if it's going like big scale YouTuber. Right, yeah. Mark, Mark has a lot as an answer to a lot of the people that I've talked to. Like, I, I can see why Mark's awesome. And mm-hmm. you know, what do you think about Jack? Well, Septico. Yeah, yeah, he's great as well. To be fair, it's between him and Mark, like the big let's players. But um, what what is it you like about Mark the most? I don't know. His reactions, the rage, the rage was the best. Oh, <laughs> although you saw the rage compilation, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, I made one myself. It's like, usually whenever he does, like, a video, like, I always make the same type of video afterwards. Like, Bud's <laughs> Unnecessary Censorship got started because of that. And I wanted to say, oh, don't don't, don't accuse me of copying Mark. It's just that, you know, I, I wanted to do it too, and I gave him credit. <laughs> so, what if, what if Mark, like, messaged me and said, hey, stop. Like, yeah. no, but you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> just say he's copying you, then no one can say anything. Well, I made I made mine after he made his, so... I mean, that you're not meant to say that. You just meant to say you didn't upload it in time. That's what you meant to say. Oh yeah, it took like a week for my video to upload. My internet was really slow that day, <laughs> and it, it, it took so long. It reminds me of that shirt that one of my friend Patrick at school was wearing. It was one of his Halloween costumes. It was like a, his shirt had like a loading bar on it, and it said "loading 99%," and under it, it said "13 days remaining." <laughs> <laughs> that was oh. a funny shirt. That was man. That was in like ninth grade. That was a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, I like Mark, too. I think, yeah, it's hard to decide between Mark and Jack. And Dashy is another one I like, too. You ever heard of Dashy Games? Don't think so, no. I'll send you a link to his channel afterwards. Like, you got to start watching him. He is okay. hilarious. But I think Jack, I like Jack a little bit more because he's, I think I've said this a lot in a lot of episodes, but the fact that he does everything on his own, because Mark has an editor and stuff now, but the fact, that, the fact that Jack does everything on his own, edits on his own, does all this yeah. and that on his own, it's just, that's why I like him a little more, but that mm. doesn't stop me from watching Mark's videos. It's definitely, no. <laughs> definitely Mark's, Mark and Jack are the top two, and it'll be a dream come true to meet them. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, somebody actually commented in one of my videos um, saying, uh, did you break into, or, no, no, that was Nailing Detective's video, but somebody asked, did you, or, do you record in Mark's room? And I'm like, no <laughs> and he's like well the, he said well the background looks similar i'm like uh, kind of I don't, I don't think it looks similar but daily <laughs> detectives background looks almost exactly the same because he, ha- he has the black and purple flesh yeah. colors and looks exactly like mark's background but, <laughs> yeah but yep mark's definitely a lot of people's favorite youtubers and one of mine mm-hmm. as well so when did you first start your youtube channel this one now, or if it was one before? Um, it can't be this one, but if you want to say your first first channel, you can. My first channel? Well, I, I remember it ages ago. I think it was um, 2012. It's not ages ago, but it's a long time ago for me. Um, I remember I made a group channel with my friends, and we called it Space Camp. Space Camp? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that didn't last long. I, I think... I was only me uploading a video after the first week, but yeah, we thought we were gonna be like the next Yogg's cast at that point. Or Vanos. Or oh, Vanos. Yeah. Oh. You were just, I don't know, we watched videos and then we thought we would be exactly the same within like a week. And then they all slowly started giving up. <laughs> yeah, it, sometimes, it, it takes a lot of dedication to keep going. Like, people have asked me, man, how do you upload so many videos? Like, how, how, how have you been here this long? I'm like, well, something I like to do. And if it's yeah. something I like to do, I'm going to keep doing it. So, <laughs> but, uh, that, that, that explains why I have almost 900 videos, because it never gets old. Yeah, just dedicated. Um, so, your current channel, when did you start that? Uh, 
I don't know. I think it was the start of last year. I think so. It's it's nearly a year old. But I've took like a big break out of that. So yeah, I remember when uh, I I never I, I don't think I've ever been able to really thank you for that shout out you gave me all those months ago. That was like seven months ago, wasn't it? Um, yeah, some of like that. It was back don't in worry. like July of last year. That was so long <laughs> ago. Uh, no worries. Yeah, but it was um. Yeah, I think I, I do remember when your channel was first getting started, and now we're here. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, but don't worry about the about the month the six month long gap. It's okay. All of us have those times. <laughs> uh, not six months though. Well, it's in your in your upload times. It said that your your previous video was six months ago. So is is it that wrong, or like was has it really been six months? It's probably been longer than six months to be honest, because I probably had the video on my computer before that. No, it's just like ah, uh, probably should upload this now. <laughs> yeah, it's like I think back when I w I was inactive for like three months or so because I I think I I was playing Ocarina of Time at the time and I stopped, and three months later I look at the computer I'm like, my YouTube channel's been sitting there with like not uploading videos for like three months I gotta upload something and so I just started uploading <laughs> again and I have never been inconsistent ever since then i have been sure to upload uh at least one video every day i think there was a couple times where i forgot to upload a video during one day but ever since yeah. then i've tried to upload at least one or two videos a day and people really applaud me for my consistency because <laughs> i yeah. mean one a day must be hard i mean i struggle to get one a week out now <laughs> but a lot of my videos are pre-recorded like i usually like record like several a day and then i take a couple of days off and just upload them while I have my time off. So I usually upload them like early in the morning when I first wake up, like before school. Like I upload it and then go eat breakfast and then leave for school. And it uploads like on the way to school. So it's pretty convenient. But well, what sucks about that is I can't respond to comments while I'm at school unless like I, yeah. I mean, unless I'm in like zoology or something and my zoology <laughs> teacher doesn't care about my, our phones being out. And so we can just like play on our phones and I can respond to comments then. But. Yeah, it's it's just never gotten old for me. It really it really is a lot of fun. Yeah. And now that I'm now that I'm growing and hopefully that you'll start growing again uh, the more videos you upload. Yeah, you know, hopefully. But it's it's it'll never stop being fun to me and I'm definitely going to try to keep doing it when I get to college. But mm. So, who or what inspired you to start making your own videos? I don't know. To be to begin with, like the first channel I made with my friends it was definitely the, the Ox cast because I remember back then I watched them non-stop and so did my mates. So it was like kind of like a mutual thing. So I made closer friends by watching it and I was like, hey, I should probably do this. But now, I don't know, it's just the comments really. Like, oh, you mean th people that commented on your video or what do you mean? Yeah, so like, I put my first video out and then I saw the comments and I was like, oh yeah, I'll do this again. Like... <laughs> Like, do you remember how many how many subscribers did that channel have before it kind of crumbled? Oh, barely any. I think we, I think the highest amount we got was forty. That's pretty good. And then it it just went down and down. I th I I think the channel's been taken down now, but yeah, it just dropped all of a sudden. Yeah, like I think I don't think I had I had I tried making a different channel like um back. It's been over a year now. It was last March, um, and it was called Comedy Central, and it was because like my current channel right now, the Next Genius, was kind of going through a hard time, and um, I made the new channel, and I didn't realize that there was an online show called Comedy Central. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and it was like okay, well, and I had like 11 subscribers, and I did that for a few days, and I'm like, you know what? I've made 400 videos in the number of the Next Genius, Next Genius channel, and I'm just not just, I'm gonna go back on it, and I did, and everybody was all happy. And um, but yeah, I, I've always, people say, oh, you should probably make a new channel to get activity back. Well, you know, I really don't think that would work because, like I said, the last time I tried making a new channel, it didn't work, and. I think I still get the same amount of activity even if I did make a new channel. So yeah. I just don't I just don't really see the point in making a new mm -hmm. one. Like it would just make all the hard work I put into this channel that would just go really just yeah. go down the drain sort of. So I was gonna do the same to be honest. Like after this like six month gap thing, 
I was talking to people and I was asking people that I've been talking to for ages about YouTube, like, oh, should I make a new channel or not? Because I have like 600 subscribers, but they're not going to be there when I come back and stuff. And they're like, oh, no, I would just upload like a video, see how many views it gets. And if it gets nothing, then you should probably start on a new channel. If it gets views, then carry on. No, and your new up, video like, does have views, so... Yeah, I, I was like, so hyped when it came up. I was like, well, well it looks, 100 look, yeah, well, yes. well, looks like it looks like you're uh, carrying on then. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so uh, why don't you tell us about what you do on your channel and what types of videos you make? Oh, I, I do a varied of things. Um, it depends, like, what I'm going to carry on doing and whatnot, but... I normally make Let's Play videos, mainly horror, but some weird games I find on Game Jolt as well, if I can. And then, yeah, and I try to be as regular as possible, and I'm um, hoping to do some collabs soon. Be cool. Well, rejoining my collab team will lock in yes. that possibility for you. Yes. Um, yeah, you, I think probably a weird game that I would think you should play that everybody like has played is uh, There's Poop in My Soup. Did you see Mark playing that? Oh yeah, I think I've seen bits of that. Yeah, yeah. That I good. think the weirdest part about that to me is that the the guy's face that that you're playing as it's a it's a it's a it's an asshole. That's what. The yeah. Guy's face is. When, <laughs> some, when somebody when somebody yells, "You're an asshole!" That's literally what what yeah, he is. So he is li literally an asshole. You can't take offense to it. <laughs> it's like, like, you're an asshole. I know. <laughs> Stop rubbing it in. But um, yeah. So. I think I try to make my variety of weird games like say my Twitter poll right now I, I usually try to go for like consistent like a let's play sort of like Legend of Markiplier was my ongoing let's play now that it's over you know I'll upload yeah. like a let's play video but along with it I'll upload other things along it but mm -hmm. um, yeah I think I got the uh, the variety idea from Mark and Jack because you know Jack's always about that variety theme because different people like different things and, yeah. you know, if, if Jack's always saying, well, there might be some people that like this game and some people that like that game. And I I feel the same way because Legend of Markiplier has gotten a lot of attention and people prefer that game more than they prefer, like, say, Sophie's Curse, which I uploaded. Yeah. Like, like, say the Legend of Markiplier video gets 30 views, Sophie's Curse gets 10. That shows you what video, what game that people prefer. So, yeah. I think I've told this to a lot of people that listen to these episodes, but if you're new to this, please, if you're looking for, like, a, a upload schedule, like, what to play, just do a variety. Variety always works. It always, like, you can find a ton of different games. Like, Game Jolt is the best place where you can find, like, weird games and yeah, fun definitely. games. But, <laughs> but, yeah. I've got a really weird method of finding games now. I go onto, like, Game Jolt and Steam, most Steam, and I find, I go onto the reviews, I find the worst reviews possible, and, like, this could be a video. <laughs> that's a that's a good that's a good way to do it though, because you find like a <laughs> the bad review game. You're like, well, I'll try to make a like a comedic thing out of this, yeah. and it usually ends up working. So there's some things though that are literally so bad that you can't make a video. And, like, I downloaded this game. Like, I think it was like only 79p or something. It was called Protocol. And I was like, oh, the, the reviews are like, this game's the worst game ever. And they go, it's not a game, it's just a video, and why would I play it? So I was like, oh, this could be a video. And I bought it, click download, download within a minute, click play, my computer crashed. I was like, what? Uh, I booted it back up again, clicked it again, and then it loaded finally, and there was this menu, and it was the worst, it looked like the menus we made in paint. And I click play, and it goes, finding servers, it loads for like 20 minutes, and then it says, the servers have unfortunately been shut down. Sorry for this um, inconvenience. I was like, what? There's no game. <laughs> <laughs> Did that cost money or was it like just downloadable? Yeah, it was like 79p or something. So not really much, but I was like, what? <laughs> There's no game to this. Wait, is that your currency? What, like, like, is it? Oh, pounds. Oh, yeah. so, 79 pounds. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, um, cent. P is cent. Oh, okay. But you, you use pounds in UK, right? Yeah. So we have like pounds and pence or p whatever people call it uh, <laughs> yeah but uh yeah i'm sure that because i think that's yeah that would be similar to u.s cents then but, mm -hmm. uh, it's always interesting learning about different currencies like because i know that um that davy uses euros and we've got u.s dollars and then witty kitty over in norway they use uh what's their currency called i don't, I don't even remember it it was a weird I name i don't even know it's <laughs> norwegian currency i don't even yeah. I, I just call it that but um <laughs> But, yeah, learning about other people's currencies is always fun. But, um, 
So what's our next question? Uh, so what do you think has been like the trickiest or rockiest part of like your YouTube like career so far? Uh, definitely like the first like few months because it's like you're you're putting videos out and you can try to get that like I don't know you try to get a good quality but you don't really know how to and then you're getting no views as well so you're kind of stuck in a hard part where you don't know how to improve. Yeah, I, a lot of people talk about that, saying like, "Oh, it's uh, whenever like I start this and like I don't get any views." It's like, well, it's like I think about how like say Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, they all started with zero subscribers and didn't get yeah. any views on their videos. But um, I always talk about this quote that I've gotten from Dan. He says that if you keep going, like and don't give up, just keep going and going. It might take a really long time, but you might eventually be successful. And yeah. That and that's how I feel because finally, since my channel is finally growing now, I'm thinking, if I I'm almost at 900 videos, you know, if I made that many videos, like they it ought to show up somewhere on YouTube where people can see them. So yeah, and I suppose like you got to be no matter how hard you work, you got to be working towards something, I guess. So no matter what you're doing, people are gonna be able to see you, and the more work you put in, the more you're gonna get out. I think. Yeah. And it's like, and there, and there are times that like my videos have not gotten gotten noticed at all. Like I've looked back at some of my old vlogs. Some of them have zero views. Like some of them don't <laughs> have views. And it's like, you know, I don't care because those are those were the days that I would just walk around in my neighborhood with my old phone, just filming and talking. And you couldn't really hear what I was saying anyway because it was so distorted. But yeah, it makes me just. I sometimes look back at that, saying, thinking about like how much I've changed, and. It's a good change because, say, like, I wouldn't have any subscribers if I just walked around outside, like, with my phone just filming stuff. That would not be exciting. And yeah, but I think everybody likes to look back at old videos every now and then. And I think that's what I'm gonna do for my thousandth video. If I get there before college, I'm gonna just do a channel look back and just look at how much everything has changed. And you know, over the thousand yeah. videos that I've made, you see how much I've changed. And I've, I have. I think I have changed a whole lot. And you know, I'm still the same old person, but, you know, <laughs> styles changed, you know, personalities changed a little bit, but... Yeah. You know, they're all good I changes. definitely have the same thing, because I, every now and then I'll go, like, because I still have the old videos saved on my computer from my old channel, and I would check them out, and, like, literally the first video, I was so nervous to talk, I would mumble, so I would do something, then I would be thinking about what I'm saying, I'd go, um, I'll do this, yeah, uh -huh. and then I'll, then I'll put my microphone on mute, and you can hear nothing, and it's the game, and then I'll... I'll go talk and I'll put it back up in the go and um, now I'm gonna op op open the door here yeah. and then put it on mute again. I was like, why would people watch this? I'm <laughs> yeah, not even talking. I'm <laughs> it's like I think I the first I, I don't know, have you seen my first vlog that I have up on this channel? I don't I, think so. I saw some of the vlogs. Yeah, but the the very, very first one, January thirteenth, two thousand thirteen, that was it was like I was fifty pounds heavier. I was in ninth grade, uh, or was it tenth? It was in ninth grade, um, and I was sitting there. It wasn't. I wasn't talking about YouTube. I was talking about random games, and I was talking really low, so you can't even hear me. And the way the way the video ended, like my dad knocked on the door. He's like, "John, come here!" And like, okay. And I stopped. I get up and like stop it there. It was the most cringiest thing I've ever seen. And it's like, but I still have it up there only for the purpose of showing people how I've changed. Yeah. <laughs> like I hate going back and looking at that because it just it just yeah I hate looking at the way I looked back then. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? It's weird looking back at how much you can change in such a short space as well. And it's like, boy, diets and exercise really do wonders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because back then I didn't exercise at all. Like I would, I would just sit in my back room playing video games and eating junk food and not exercise. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's why I was fifty difference. pounds. Yeah. That's why I was fifty pounds heavier. Oh, <laughs> makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think a lot of people do struggle with that, like just starting your YouTube channels and. You know, get, and the the views are always. I know I, I've had a lot of times where I lose motivation because of the views, but I've always trained myself just to not focus on the views and just do YouTube because you like doing it. Like I yeah. try to tell as many people as I can, and I always think of myself as a hypocrite whenever I upload those like complaint videos saying, uh, "I'm not getting any views. Uh, I might quit." Uh, like I hate. I've deleted all those videos because they just disgust me. Because I should be grateful for what I have. I shouldn't. Be yeah. <laughs> 
Like, I think everyone's gonna like if they make videos, they're gonna go through that point where they're like, oh well, is there any point doing this? It takes more work than people think, even for like small channels to do little bits. And I don't think like people pick up on that, so they're getting no views. They put in work, they're like, oh, is this actually worth it? Am I doing anything? I mean, think how much, see how much work I've had to do to just get up to close to 2,000 subscribers. I've almost 900 videos. I mean, you have to work your ass off. And it's yeah. just, and it's like, people think, it's like, it makes me think of those, like, people that, uh, those little, those 10 year olds that post those laggy Minecraft videos that think they're going to get famous. And it's like, that's yeah, not how it works. You don't post my <laughs> laggy Minecraft videos and suddenly get famous. That's not, they Mark hold that iPod, uh, iPod in front of the TV and it's like, um, okay, now we're gonna go and break a block. And they put the iPod down. Ten thousand subscribers, man! <laughs> Next video, like, um, guys, I know I'm famous now, but I'm still gonna keep on making these Minecraft videos for you. It's <laughs> iPod again, walking, break a block, <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah, but um, so what's the thing that you like the most about YouTube? Uh, definitely the comments though. Like, just being able to like know that people are watching it and there's someone there. Dan communicating as well. So like, when you comment on someone's comment and then they comment back. Yeah, I love that, and that's how I've met a lot of people through Skype. Like, um, I think yeah, you you com was it you? I think you commented on one of my videos and then you followed yeah, me on Twitter. So. I'm surprised. I'm still surprised it took like six months to finally add you on Skype. But you know, whatever. <laughs> We're here now. We're here now. So, yeah. but um, anything. Yeah, that's how I met Davey, that's how I met Tom, that's how I met Dan. I met everybody through the comments, and it's like, mm. that's awesome. That's the, I agree with you. I think the comments and the, all the people you meet, uh, yeah. like, I'm, I know people all across the world now. <laughs> and it's like, because yeah. Davey's in Belgium, you're in the UK, Tom's in the UK, <laughs> Witty Kitty's in Norway. It's like, everywhere. It's like if I if I hadn't joined YouTube, I wouldn't have the I wouldn't have you or anybody else's friends, and I wouldn't know anybody across the world. So. Uh, yeah. That's the awesome thing about YouTube, definitely, is, like, meeting people everywhere. So, Community. So, um, is there anything that you would like to tell the people listening? Carry on watching videos. All of them. All of mine. And all of John's. Yes. Uh, so do you have any advice for anybody out there? Um, if, if someone's harsh to you, kill them. <laughs> That's it. And by killing them, he means to leave their comment. Don't actually go and shoot them. Uh, well, either one. They both work. <laughs> Alright. But, um... <laughs> so, uh, that will do it for this episode of the Genius Cast. Thank you, Zeppu, for being here. It was awesome. Thank um, you. And thank you all so much for joining in to the Genius Cast. If you liked it, smash that like button and leave a dent. It'll help us both out a ton. Go check out Zappu's channel. Link will be in the description. Yeah. And, and we will see you all in the next episode. Stay smart, my friends. Peace out. Bye-bye.